Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be exploring Sequoia National Park. And the park I'm camping in is in Big Meadows Campground. Over here is a lot of trees. There's also a lot of cut trees that are cut down by people. There is birds that sing a lot in the forest. There's also a lot of burned trees and tall trees and a lot of rocks everywhere. Here in Sequoia National Park, there's a lot of trails where you can go camping and set up your tent and RV. And then there's a lot of trails where you can go hiking in. Also, if you go camping, you can also find some wood and make campfires out of it. So some areas in the camp in Sequoia National Park don't allow you to make campfires. So pick which place you want to go camping in. But if some places in Sequoia don't allow you to make campfires, so I recommend for you to find a good spot for you to make fires and to cook your food or make s'mores. There's also some random roads where cars pass by. Another fact is make sure you don't bring your food outside and leave it there because some bears and raccoons can come and eat the food. So put your food inside and put it in the freezer if you have an RV. But if you have a camp tent, put it in a lock so bears and raccoons don't come and eat it. Also, if you go to Sequoia National Park, you're going to see a lot of deers. But I saw like five of them in packs. But like they're not males, but they're females. So it would have been better if there were males so we can see the antlers it has. Because we barely see male deers, but we mostly see females. Because I think male deers are mostly rare to find. I guess you find male deers, you're lucky. It's morning time, let's do this. But we're gonna be packing our stuff so we can go fishing and see if we can catch rainbow trout. And this is our campsite, by the way, but like there's like surrounded by cut trees and a lot of things. Okay, it's time to go fishing. I already set up my fish rod and bait. Let's see if we can catch some rainbow trout. And there's the mountains right there and the humongous trees. But this is covered in people and boats. Let's see if we can catch any. Guess this is a good place to put my fishing rod because I don't want my fishing rod to get in the water when I catch a fish or the fish takes the fishing rod. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are interested, if you guys come to Sequoia National Park, this place is called Hume Lake. I'm going to put it in the screen so you guys can check it out for yourself. Or I'm going to put it in the link in the description. It's time to cook some meat. It's lunchtime already. It's in the afternoon. For me, carne asada is like one of my favorite meats. It's I like it better in tacos. To me, don't get me wrong. I like Mexican food and I'm Mexican. Don't expect that. I like carne asada a lot. It's like good. It's one of my favorite meats. And it tastes better if you put black peppers and this type of ingredients to make it taste better and have better flavors. If you're bringing meat, I recommend for you to bring like a freezer or something like that. Like put ice and put cold water in the freezer and then you can put your meat on there. Oh yeah, here's the ribs. It looks delicious. Ribs are good. I like it better than, than me. I prefer cow ribs than pork ribs because to me it has better flavor. And then that's just my opinion to be honest, but... If some of you might not agree with me. I understand it. So cook cow ribs. It will taste better if you put barbecue all over it. And it tastes good, to be honest. It would taste really good. But I had to eat it with no barbecue sauce because we didn't bring any barbecue sauce with us on the road. I have to put more seasoning in these ribs because we have extra ribs. But we're going to save some for later, I guess. Now it's time for the black peppers to put in the ribs. It's ready to go. It's time to put more black peppers on the meat. And after this, we're gonna be cooking the rainbow trout. If some of you that don't know what a rainbow trout is, it's basically a type of fish, but it tastes good, but it's not the best fish you can taste. But like, it tastes better with lemon on it and we have to scrape all the scabs out, like the skin. All we got to do is like put seasoning and cut it open and it will taste better. 
And now it's time to put the carne asada in the grill. This is gonna be good and tasty and look delicious, to be honest. And now it's time to flip them over now and you guys can check out the view we have in Sequoia National Park. Now the meat is cooking quick. Okay, let's put another one in there. We also have some cactus over here on the grill as well. But for me, I never tried cactus, but I like the onions, how my parents cook it. And now it's time to add the ribs. This is gonna be good. And now it's time to add another piece of rib. Okay, let's get the fish ready. Okay, the fish is ready now. Let's put the seasoning and the black peppers and the garlic in it. This rainbow trout is gonna be good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks delicious. Now it's time to flip it over and put more seasoning in the garlic. Okay, let's add more garlic. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's add some more black peppers in it. Okay, now the food is already cooking. Okay, the food is almost done already. Okay. okay, let's just get the fish ready. And now it's already almost done for the fish to go on the stove. And the food, the ribs, the carne salad and everything tastes good. Okay, let's put in the foil so we can cook the fish so it won't get burned. Okay, let's close it now and wait. Okay, the rest of the food is already done. All we gotta do is cook the onions and the, and the cactus. Okay, the ribs are already done already. The other food is already cooking and this food is already done. The ribs are done. So let's test it out and let's see how it tastes. Okay, the ribs are good. Not gonna lie. And my dog's just chilling. And if some of you that don't know what this dog is, it's a long hair chihuahua, but we don't know for sure if it's a mix or not. We're just guessing on the breed. It was, but like, we're not sure to be honest. I'm just, okay, the rainbow trout is done. Let's now taste it. It looks good. It tastes all right, I guess. It's still good at least, but it wouldn't taste better if it had lemon on it. Okay, it's now time to go back fishing and see if we can catch any more fish. This is a pretty good view of the whole entire thing. And we have some Takis and we have the bait right there. And let's just wait and see if we can catch any fish. Okay, here's another spot where we can go fishing at, and this is a pretty good view of the sun. Most of the fish are over there in the shade, but most of them are over here in the shallow area, but those are small fish. Okay, here's another fishing spot, but I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I can see little tiny fish, and there's like a dead fish over there, but I don't think you guys can see it from here. We saw a deer in person. This is like the seventh deer we saw today in person. Hey, you want me to bring it over? Okay, we're getting the campfire ready. Let's light up and turn into s'mores at night. We're ready for this. Okay, now it's lighting up. Okay, now it's rising. Now it's, all we gotta do is put more gasoline so we can light up more of the fire. Okay, now it's growing. Okay, let's get ready for the fire and enjoy it, this peaceful fire and the forest. Okay, let's light up the s'mores.
Okay, these s'mores taste good. The s'mores are done. It's already been the next day. It's the second day of camping. Okay, we're here at the biggest trees in the world. Okay, let's go visit them. And here's the maps to the biggest trees. It tells you some facts about the trees. And there's bears here that tell you facts about them as well. Here are the signs and the chairs are over here and the trees are over there. Okay, let's follow the trail and let's check out the biggest trees in the world. And here are the signs to it and Sequoia Kings Canyon National Park. Turns out they don't let dogs or pets in there. And here are the rocks. And let's follow the trail now. Okay, let's go down the stairs now. This view looks cool, to be honest. A bunch of trees, nature. And there's chairs over here. Box everywhere and another group of stairs. Okay, this looks cool, and let's check this out. Robinson, stop at that sign right there. Okay. 
Okay, here's another sign over here. Okay, That's right. interesting. Let's just keep walking, I guess. Come on, Jay. This way. Here's another sign. It's the biggest. What? Well, it's not the biggest tree. Let's just keep walking until we find it. Pulls out a gun and shoots at him. a whole bunch of people that come over here in california to see the biggest trees from all around the world like in different states or different countries to see the biggest trees over here
Okay, here here's another, another sign. Map. It's like a map. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Can I exercise? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it like at least five feet. Oh, we're cute. Oh, yeah. Why are you a woodchucker? I remember one time we saw a rat over here. Look, Dad, do you remember the time we saw a rat over here? Okay, here's another tree, but it's kind of burned. Okay, here's another big tree, but it's kind of burned, and it, here's the information right here. Okay, let's check it out and go inside it. Okay, here's what the inside looks like and the tree. Okay, let's just keep on walking, I guess, until we find it. Okay, here's another tree trunk, but it's kind of destroyed, I guess. Okay, here's another tall tree. There's another one over there. Okay, we're almost there. Here's a sign that tells you the facts why is it so big and old. Well, there's there's a on that that placard it indicated that uh when the when the, the cavalry protected it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is the biggest tree in the world, aka Sequoia National Park's biggest tree. Oof, I can't even see. Hey, let me see. This is an overprotective tree because they're protecting it from the wildfire so this tree doesn't get burned into a crisp. This tree is like 2,200 years old to 2,700 years old. 
this is like a very old tree it was like it's like from a long time ago from history i guess this is i'm surprised that this tree still exists the way the biggest tree is the general sherman tree Yeah, I see him running. You see that? Ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 